Hi, my name is Jordan Rain, and the name of my screenplay is Goat, as in the farm animal, or what people might call you if you happen to blow Game 7 of the World Series for a team like the Chicago Cubs, which is the lead-in for my screenplay. Goat is a comedy about a disgraced former star athlete who, years after committing the most heinous error you could possibly commit on a ball field, is forced to return to the city where it all happened in order to reluctantly deal with his demons and his estranged family and get them to come to his wedding. I started writing this script about three years ago and it's been through so many changes and overhauls and rewrites including a complete light a match start from scratch rewrite that it's hard for me at this point to remember exactly where the seed for this one was planted but I've always felt for the major goats in sports uh, and the stigma that follows someone around, however unfairly, uh, when they're blamed for losing the big game and uh, incurring the wrath of an entire city, like, for example, Chicago. Uh, that, to me, is much more interesting story material than heroics. And the idea here was to channel this scenario into something that ultimately runs deeper than sports, like, for example, dysfunctional family dynamics, which is always good fodder for dramatic comedy and, you know, for my money, a lot more fun to write about than what happened in the sixth or the ninth inning. Um, I entered Scriptapalooza because no one else in Hollywood was returning my emails. Uh, I also entered this contest uh, so that I could get an unbiased review and, and formal coverage of my script um, from a professional. Uh, that to me is invaluable because, you know, um, as much as your friends and family and anyone else who agrees to read your script promises to give it to you straight and not pull any punches, we all know they're just a bunch of well-meaning liars. Um, so, uh, you know, the coverage alone for me was well worth the price of admission. Uh, let's see, I've been asked to say something about my screenwriting process. Uh, and I'm not sure exactly what to say because mine keeps changing and um, I think everyone has their own methods of tackling the madness of writing a screenplay. Um, after all, the Sid Field books and the Blake Snyder books are read. Uh, generally, I like to start with a big bag of potatoes. Um, five pounds, maybe ten, depending on the genre. Uh, bring a nice pot of water to a rolling boil and, uh, you know, throw in a leek or two, some carrots, cumin if you have it, and, you know, just grab a sharp knife and a peeler and have at it. Um, but that's just me, like I said. You don't have to do that. Um, you know, uh, the point is to take whatever you have in the cupboard and start. That's the main thing, and then just keep cooking. Um, go to my fourth feature. It's the first one that I've ever entered into a screenplay competition, and frankly, the only one that I thought might have a chance in one. Uh, and I'm just so honored and completely blown away to be declared this year's winner. Um, what more can I say about myself in the next 10 seconds? Uh, I'm from Toronto originally. Uh, I've lived in Los Angeles for many, many years. I'm a journalist. I have a wife and two kids and three cats and a bunny. Um, and if I could offer any screenwriting advice uh, for whatever it's worth, including to myself, it, it would be just to stay as honest as you can to the screenwriting process. Write as honestly as you can within the framework of your movie. And um, if you love screening, screenwriting, to just you know set all those ridiculous odds aside, uh, to never give up, and to just you know keep boiling those potatoes. Eventually, they will cook. Um, but you know, be careful with the knife. And that's my story. A huge, huge thanks to Scriptapalooza. And, uh, you know, any screenwriters who are still listening, thanks and good luck.